Hey guys, what's up? Philip Brazuca here, and yes, this video I'm gonna speak in English. Most of you guys know my videos are all in Portuguese because I teach Portuguese. In case you want to learn Portuguese and if you don't know my channel, take a look. I'm sure you will learn a lot of Portuguese. And uh, the idea of this video here is to show you guys five things that I did to learn English and five things that you can apply to any language. So the first thing that I tell you guys that is really important to, to learn a language, not just a language, it's having discipline. If you don't have discipline, you can try to do anything in this life and you won't excel on this, you won't master on this. I mean, how many times have you met someone who went to a seminar, you know, motivation seminar, and they get out of there so energized, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and they, they start to do this during a week. And then in the second week, nothing more. You know, there is no discipline. So if there is something that I tell you to learn more about, it's about discipline. If you can put this to learn a language, you can apply this to any other thing in your life and I'm sure you will succeed. So the second thing that you can do, it's uh, creating an English environment. So what I mean by that, I mean, you listen to music, do you like music, listen to English music. Do you like uh, movies, watch movies in English all the time. You like, I don't know, put your cell phone in English, put your Facebook in English, you know, when I, when I started, I wanted to be really like, uh, I, I wanted to go crazy about English, like to learn fast. And I created a messenger, a Skype account and a Facebook account just for people who spoke in English. So nowadays we don't have messenger, but we have Skype and we have Facebook and we have WhatsApp. So imagine if you have another cell phone, like an old cell phone, you can buy a SIM card and you will put this on your cell phone and you, you will add people on the internet, just people who speak in English all the time. So wherever you have this cell phone on your hands, you will be talking to people in English. So that's what I mean, like surround yourself with people who speak in English. And something that is really important, I mean, talk to people on the streets, you know. When I was living in Brazil, I had this uh, Canadian jacket and I would go on the streets and people would, you know, see me and they would approach and they would say, hey, are you from Canada? And I would, no, I'm not from Canada, but, uh, but I speak in English. We can practice a little bit here. And uh, that, that, there you go. You have someone to practice with you and you didn't do anything. You just put a t-shirt, you know, you just put a jacket and they will see this. They will get attracted. They will talk to you and boom, you have a friend, you have a contact, you can practice with this person. I know sometimes it can be really scary to talk to people on the street, but you get used to it, you know? You know, you keep doing, you keep doing, and then you will see that you will improve so much, you will learn so much, and it gets fun because you will have stories to tell to people all the time, you know? <laughs> people will say, hey, how did you, how did you guys meet? And you say, yeah, uh, I was buying, I don't know, uh, ice cream, an ice cream. And then he saw me with this Brazilian shirt and he asked me if I were from Brazil. And I said, I told him I was not, but I was learning Portuguese. And then we started to talk and, and there you go. You know, it's, it's easy as this. We human beings, we were made to connect to each other. You know, it's, it's just about connecting to people. All right, so the third recommendation I have to you guys here that I used to learn English was reading a lot, you know, read a lot. And of course, read something that you really enjoy, you know. There is no sense on reading something that you don't like because you wouldn't do this, even in your own language, you wouldn't do this. So what is the point of being reading something that I don't care about, you know? So make sure to find some really nice book or even articles on the internet. You can find so many. So this is really, really, really useful, right? And of course, after being surrounded by music, by movies, by, you know, everything in English and reading as well, I started to practice a lot with podcasts. And podcasts is the best way I have ever found to learn any language. Why is that? Because they have so many interviews. They will talk about a lot of topics. There are millions of podcasts in English. You can choose 
whatever topic you want. And why I like so much listening to podcasts, I listen to podcasts every day. Actually, I'm gonna recommend to you six podcasts that you should be listening by now, not just to learn English, but to improve yourself as a person. So this is a list of some podcasts that I really like. And uh, School of Greatness with Lewis Howes, 10 Times Talk with Joe Polish and Dan Sullivan, 48 Days to the Work You Love with Dan Miller, there is Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn, Online Marketing with Amy Porterfield, the Inter Leadership Podcast, and I say it's six, but it's seven actually, Tim Ferriss Podcast. It's a, li a little bit longer, the Tim Ferriss uh, show, it's called a podcast, and uh, but it's really useful. Why is that? Because most of the times those guys are talking to other persons, so they are interviewing them, and this is really useful because you will see how English speakers interact between them. So you can notice how they speak, you can copy them. I mean, learning a language is about imitating, you know, that's it. You just pay attention, uh, you know, when this guy talks to this guy and you pay attention, pay attention when this guy answer to this guy and then you will start to notice a pattern. You know, you will start to notice something really common. And it was, oh, okay, well, this guy always say this. Oh, and, and he, when he wants to, to say no, he say like this. Okay, so you start to learn. One thing is for sure, you will learn much more than English. And that's the point. And of course, you have the meetings, you know. The meetings for me is like the most important. And it's so fun, you know, when you go to a place and talk to people, you know, like having fun, you know, practicing the language. And uh, when I, when I, the first meeting that I went, and I, it was so crazy because I didn't know anyone and I went by myself and I was, you know, new in this city. I was living in Brazil in Sao Paulo and I didn't know anyone out there and to go with me, you know. So I went there. I mean, I go, come on, I got to do this. It, it shouldn't be that hard. But once I got there and I saw those people that I didn't know, I was like, oh my gosh, man, I'm gonna grab a beer. And then I went to the bar, I grab a beer and I started to look at them like, oh, okay, man, I, should I go there? Should I stay here? Should I leave home? And then I, I started to think like, man, if I take a long time to go there, it's gonna be so weird because everybody will, you know, will know that I, would, I was there like scared to go and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I said, I'm gonna go. The longer I stay here, the worse it's gonna be. So I, I went there and said, hey guys, what's up? Are you guys from Internations? And they told me, yeah, 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 we are. And I uh, took a seat. And then I took a seat with them. We started to talk. It was really nice. And then like, uh, I don't know, like half an hour later, this place was crowded, like really crowded of people speaking in English. And that for me was like crazy because it was the first time that I was in a place full of people speaking the language that I was learning. And that for me was really nice. It's uh, unforgettable, literally, it was pretty cool. And of course, if you're taking someone to go with you to the meeting, make a deal with this person. You, you tell to them, you tell them like, hey man, let's do something. We're gonna go to this meeting together, but um, you're gonna speak in English, I'm gonna speak in English, and once we get there, you go one way, I go another way. That way, we will meet more people, you know, because if we stay together, we will tend to be together. And uh, when you're by yourself, people will approach, people will talk to you, you know, hey, what's up? What are you doing here by yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm just meeting people, I'm practicing uh, English, blah, blah, blah. Just like this, you know, it's no big deal. Just, you know, make this deal with your friend. I'm sure he will understand. It's a benefit for both of you guys. That's what I did to learn English. And uh, you can apply this to any language. So if you liked the video, if you learned something, leave a thumb up. And of course, if you're learning Portuguese, follow my YouTube channel. I'm always putting new videos in Portuguese. Of course, I'm not gonna be speaking English. This video in English is just to practice a little bit and to share my uh, experience learning a language. And that's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.